Ivanka Trump had a special send-off on Wednesday morning as her two-year-old son, Theo, stood outside the doorway of their home while watching her head off to work. The 36-year-old first daughter was seen leaving the bottom gate of her Washington, D. C. home at 9 a.m. wearing a $218 floral dress by Reformation in bright orange pumps. While Ivanka was all dressed up for a day at the office, little Theo looked like he was in the middle of breakfast, with his Ralph Lauren bibs still fastened around his neck. The tot, who turned two in March, was wearing a blue and white striped T-shirt, navy blue shorts, and nothing but socks on his feet. After saying goodbye to his mom, Ivanka's youngest son stood just inside the gate as she made her way to the Black Secret Service SUV parked right outside their door. But while he remained there until she climbed into her car, Ivanka failed to turn around and wave at her youngest child, instead focusing straight ahead as she made her way to the waiting vehicle. Although she may have turned back to him once seated in the SUV. Ivanka's navy blue dress featured a pattern of white flowers with green stems, a smocked waist, and long sleeves. She topped off the ladylike look with eye-catching orange stilettos and aviator sunglasses. Her long blonde hair was pulled back in a messy bun, showing off the delicate gold hoops hanging from her ears. The mom and her youngest son both wore matching red string bracelets tied around their left wrists. Ivanka has been wearing the red string off and on for the past year. Though she hasn't spoken about the purpose of the string, it does bear a resemblance to the type of red string that Kabbalah practitioners wear to ward off the evil eye. As the mother of three was about to get into the backseat of the vehicle, one of her Secret Service agents made sure Theo was safely inside when he closed the gate of her home. Ivanka's husband, fellow White House senior advisor Jared Kushner, didn't quite the same send-off when he headed to work at about 7.20 a.m. on Wednesday. The 37-year-old was seen walking down the front stairs of their home with a file folder in his hand and a smile on his face. Jared's navy blue suit and hunter green tie complemented the dress his wife stepped out in just a few hours later. On Tuesday, Ivanka was seen walking through the Senate subway tunnel at the United States Capitol. The senior advisor looked chic in a red suit featuring cropped pants that drew attention to her black and white heels. Ivanka appeared to be wearing minimal makeup, and she wore her hair loose around her shoulders. She accessorized her look with pearl earrings, and she carried a notebook and pen in her hand while walking through the tunnel. Ivanka left quite a few people befuddled on Monday when she tweeted a Chinese proverb to mark the historic meeting between her father and North Korea leader Kim Jong-un. The only problem was that no one could figure out where the proverb came from. Chinese net users were left scratching their heads over the so called proverb, which read, Those who say it cannot be done should not interrupt those doing it. Ivanka, whose eldest child, Arabella, has been studying Mandarin since she was a toddler, attributed the quote to Chinese proverb when she shared it on Twitter hours before her father met with a North Korean dictator. China's internet quickly lit up, puzzled rather than flattered by the reference. Our editor really can't think of exactly which proverb this is. Please help, the news channel for Sina, the company behind Weibo, China's largest Twitter like platform, wrote on its official account. In thousands of comments on Weibo, users proffered scores of different suggestions without arriving at a consensus. One website suggested it originated in the United States itself at the turn of the 20th century. A pseudo-Confucian version was fabricated in 1962, perhaps explaining why Ivanka believed it was a Chinese proverb. Later on Monday, newly released 2018 financial disclosure forms for Ivanka's husband, Jared, show that his wealth and debt both appear to have risen over the year, an indication of the complex state of his finances and the potential conflicts that confront some of his investments. Disclosures issued by the White House for President Donald Trump's son-in-law and his wife, Ivanka, showed that Jared held assets totaling at least $181 million. His previous disclosure filed in April 2017 showed assets in at least the $140 million range. The financial disclosures released by the White House and filed with the U.S. Office of Government Ethics routinely show both assets and debts compiled in broad ranges between low and high estimates, making it difficult to precisely chart the rise and fall of the financial portfolios of federal government officials. A spokesman for the couple said on Monday that their disclosure portrayed both assets 
and debts that have not changed much over the past year, stressing that Jared and Ivanka have both complied with all federal ethics rules. The couple ultimately made at least $83 million in income and capital gains last year, according to the disclosures. The two broke a sweat on Saturday as they headed out for a run together, the day before enjoying a family day out with their three children. The first daughter and her husband were seen leaving for their jog around 11 a.m. and returned around 12.10 p.m. with Jared commenting that it had been a hot run. Ivanka wore black leggings and a matching, long-sleeved t-shirt on the warm day, which saw a temperature highs of 84 degrees Fahrenheit, while Jared went for a short-sleeved, light gray t-shirt paired with black shorts. Both White House advisors wore baseball hats during their run, with Ivanka going for a pale beige hat with the stars and stripes on it. Jared, meanwhile, supported his home team of the Mets, with a black hat with its logo on it. Jared flashed a bright smile as he and Ivanka returned from their workout, while the first daughter seemed to remain focused on her stride. The pair have been known to run together and have frequently been pictured going for a jog around their neighborhood on weekends. The following day, Jared and Ivanka were pictured heading out for a bit of family time with their three children, Arabella, six, Joseph, four, and Theodore, two. Jared carried his youngest as the family left together, with Theodore clutching a water bottle on the high afternoon, with temperatures reaching 81 degrees Fahrenheit. The father of three dressed down in a casual black t-shirt, beige pants, and white tennis shoes, which he paired with aviator shades. Ivanka, meanwhile, also caught a relaxed silhouette in jeans and white tennis shoes matching Jared's. She donned a $295 long-sleeved, blue and white striped top with pleats in the back by Veronica Beard, and also wore a pair of sunglasses on the summery day. The first daughter wore her hair down in a casual do and finished off her outfit with a pair of stud earrings.